I work in an area of muscle disease which are called mitochondrial myopathies. These are muscle diseases where the, en the muscle runs out of energy. These are an important group of muscle diseases. And we've, over the years, have got much better at recognizing these diseases and providing some form of treatment. However, these muscle for these muscle diseases, there is no cure. And they are often very debilitating and lead to premature death. So if you can't cure something, it's surely better to prevent something. And that's the whole basis of mitochondrial donation. Mitochondrial donation is a process, an IVF technique, by which the mitochondrial myopathy, which is passed down in the mitochondria which are present in a woman's eggs, where we actually exchange the mitochondria from a donor woman. And I just want to say how grateful I am to muscular dystrophy for all the support it's given. It was back in 2000 when I first approached then the muscular dystrophy campaign with an idea of doing research. And it was something that I don't think anybody else would have funded. In that work, which was continued to be funded over the years, eventually produced a paper in the top medical journal called Nature, which attracted worldwide attention. And then over the last five years, with constant support from the Muscular Dystrophy UK, we've taken this through numerous ethical debates, numerous policy debates, public consultation, right through to Parliament, and there were votes of resounding success in both the Houses of, of, House of Commons and the House of Lords. So I'm very grateful for Muscular Dystrophy UK in supporting me and in supporting patients with mitochondrial myopathies.